the section of his book that covers phasing, Alan Strange uses a series of bandpass filters to illustrate the concept. As he writes, a spectrally rich signal is taken in parallel to three or more bandpass filters. The filter outputs, the three pass bands, are mixed at unity gain with the original unprocessed spectrum. Each filter must be offset to a different center frequency. The filter should not be allowed to go into oscillation. A slow, repetitive control voltage such as a sine wave from an LFO will then cause each filter to sweep through the applied signal, selectively passing different portions of the spectrum. By mixing the pass bands with the original spectrum, there will then be varying degrees of phase cancellation in the signal, producing continually varying multiple notch cancellations or nulls. The effect will be more pronounced if the control voltage for each filter is attenuated a bit differently, so that the nulls are not exactly in parallel. With the QPOS, we can already create a mix of not three, but four bandpass filters by simply taking the left bandpass output. Let's molt this sawtooth wave to the left input, as well as to an input of the mixer. We'll use maths and sum it with the left bandpass output. The cutoff control sets frequency for all four filters while radiate controls each control two of them. Mixing it with the original causes phase cancellation. Now we can use a variable out of a maths cycling channel to control cutoff. It must be the variable out to keep it from being included in the sum out that we are monitoring. Let's also add some modulation that is different per core using radiate. As Strange notes, differing attenuation and center frequencies create different effects, so let's play around. We'll get different effects with different filter types. We could also try the same effect on other sources. 